There's customs, or oath comes from here. So you can appreciate the diversity of cultures in the world. Hey you, what's up everybody, welcome back to our channel, it's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Fun in Jesse. So right about now we're going to do another reaction video, but before we get into the reaction guys I want to thank everybody who have been subscribing to our channel, you guys are really really amazing, thank you so much for just being part of this family and yeah, um... If you're new to this channel, we are fun and Jesse, we do a lot of reaction videos. Any type of reaction videos, just let us know in the comment section below and we're going to do it for you. So right about now, I'm going to do a reaction video and this one right here was suggested by a lot of people. They suggested that we should go react to Prophet Muhammad and uh, human equality. Yeah, something like that. So thank you so much for giving us this reaction and without any further ado guys, let's get it. يا أيها الناس إنا خلقناكم من ذكر وأنثى وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارف All mankind we have created you from a male and a female and we made you into nations and tribes so that you may get to know one another Chapter 49 verse 13 the Quran We have created all of you from a male and female, which means you are one family. You are not one people better than another, one nation better than another, one race better than another. You are equal. And we're the ones that have made you. Shuruban wa Qabaila, different kinds of populations, Shuruban, Shab, people, populous population. Wa Qabail and tribes, nations and tribes, populations and tribes, Lita Arafu, so that you can recognize one another, so that you can understand each other's customs, or oath comes from here. So you can appreciate the diversity of cultures in the world. Just like you appreciate different kinds of flowers, different kinds of rocks, different kinds of waters, different kinds of climates, different kinds of people, different kinds of cultures, different kinds of traditions. So you can do that. So you can enjoy the diversity of human humankind. That's why I am you. So you can recognize one another and distinguish one another and respect one another. Appreciate one another. In No doubt the most respectful among you is the one that has the most urge to protect themselves, the most careful, the one who are closest to Allah in watching out, which means race is not a problem, race is not an issue. Where did, how do you check taqwa of someone? A taqwa Rasulullah Yaqub Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, taqwa hauna, taqwa isn't here. I can't check anybody's taqwa now, which means I can't ever say who has more respect than others. That's why Allah says, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ We honored the entire ch children of Adam. All children of Adam are Adam. Inna Allah Ali wa Khabir. No doubt Allah knows all. He is fully aware. He has full news of everything. But the Prophet I would argue, is the first person to actually argue that. And that's what's so Asiyah. I don't think you'll find any, uh, any person in human history before the Prophet. And I would challenge somebody to do that. To show me a quote. Because Aristotle, the greatest mind of the ancient world, arguably, uh, said there are people that are natural slaves because of their inferiority to other people and women are naturally inferior to men. And that was Aristotle's opinion which was held by, by many, many people, educated people all over the world for centuries. But the Prophet said no, people are equal. He says, Thomas Jefferson, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So he's really talking about the equality of rights. The Prophet said in Nasr-Shalassia, Asnan and Mish. And I argue he's the first person in human history ever to say that. I don't think anybody said it before him. Not Thomas Jefferson or anybody else. So the Prophet said, human beings are equal like the tongues of a comb, like the teeth of a comb. They're equal. Our Prophet said, all of you are from one. And your father is one. لا فضل لعربي على عجمي ولا عجمي على عربي 
ولا لأحمر على أسود ولا أسود على أحمر إلا بالتقوى. This is an authentic hadith of Muslim Muhammad from the Hajj of Wada. And this is completely revolutionary, as I have said many times before. No philosopher, thinker, intellectual leader in the history of humanity had ever said all humans are equal. Nobody. Every society thought we are better. Whether it was ethnicity, whether it was race, they always thought we are better. And the first person to say this, and clearly this is from the divine, because this is not something that the son of Abdul Muttalib would want to say if he was simply with the son of Abdul Muttalib. The person who has the most noble lineage amongst all of the Arabs, he is the one saying, it doesn't matter whether you're Arab or Ajab, whether you're white or black, it's all irrelevant except for taqwa. That is revolutionary for humanity, and now, we are still struggling with this concept, we know it's right in our world, we know it's right, but we're still struggling with this concept. Fourteen centuries ago, the first human to ever say it so bluntly was our Prophet Wow. If I just see how you... Interesting. First of all, I want to say that uh, there is no race out there that is better than the other one. There is no race out there that is better than the other race. You get it? I feel like all races, like we are all equal. You get it? Um, show me anybody who bleeds blue or something like that. And I'll be at the brink of actually uh, believing that this race over here is special. It's different or something like that. But um i believe that everybody bleeds red and uh, if we uh maintain that aspect of uh we see each other as 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 human beings who have a uh, common um understanding or who have common um knowledge as to why uh we as to why we, we, we were first even created or something like that. I mean, it could be a nice thing to see people behaving equally, um, behaving in a way that um, there's no what we call the racist uh, uh, comments or racist uh, profiling one community or maybe making one, one person looks as if uh, he or she doesn't deserve to be at one particular point or the other or something like that and i also believe that racism don't exist i think it's more of superiority and inferiority i mean that's what i believe in because you um uh, maybe people fear that if this type of a community or maybe this type of of people get into power it's going to be a sort of uh taking over uh, the society of taking or, or, or taking over the world or something like that and again i would say like no one is special man like no one is special no one no race is the best out there so i believe that racism don't exist but what normally exists is just superiority and the level as to which uh people uh look at other people like i'm the best you are not the best you get it i think such things are belittling uh uh what is it's i think such things is belittling people i think such things are really um uncouth to uh to to, to, to oneself or even to the other person that is being subjected to to such manner so i, I believe that uh the moment you realize that we are human beings who share equal um, probably opportunities, we share equal rights, we share equal, um, um, like we share, we breathe the same air, you get it? We, uh, 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 we, 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 we walk on the same earth, you get it? We walk in the same earth, there's no difference, there's no speciality, there's no who's bigger than us, who's higher than us, you get it? The only person who um, we're supposed to look up to is uh, the Almighty, and I, I believe that's that's the ultimate where we can look up to. 
but for us humans i think we should treat each other equally we should treat each other as 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 people who uh have concern for each other i think that's the best thing ever and i believe that if we are able to conquer all this um i don't want to say racism conquer all this superiority all this kind of inferiority or whatever even 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 uh when it comes to women i mean women are believed to be the inferior ones and men are believed to be the superior ones i don't believe in that you get it because i believe that women um should be treated as equal as any other uh male figure out there they shouldn't be that um that level of of uh that level there shouldn't be that kind of comparison as to why why men should be ahead of women or why women should be ahead of men i mean everything should just be equally um looked into i understand that there are some things women can't do there are some things men can't do uh that uh, needs women uh, to do it the moment we do understand what the yin yang is and what the balance is i believe we can just merge in together in a perfect way anyway thank you so much if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down my comment section or don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us exactly what you want us to react to we react to any kind of videos just let us know in the comment section below and we're gonna do it for you and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least i'm gonna see you or rather we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out